I'm Tim Ostborough. I've been driving the equipment truck for the football team for the past eight seasons. The design of the truck is new this year. It's a brand new truck, brand new trailer. Um, we worked on the trailer for probably about eight to ten months on design and paint work and uh, with Trent Chestnut and the guys over at marketing came up with the idea of doing some old school players and then doing the uh, 21st century first round draft picks just to get some of the, the new era guys on there and uh, it turned out really well. Alright, so we're in the cab of the truck now. This is kind of where we hang out. Uh, don't spend too much time in here. Short truck trips, we just uh, drive up there, spend the night in the hotel, long trips. Sometimes we'll take two guys. Got a double bunk up here where it folds down and uh, kind of bunk beds and refrigerator, microwave, satellite TV. Truck's pretty equipped with everything. Uh, navigation, satellite radio, about anything anybody would need. Usually on a normal Big Ten game, I'll bring the trailer in on a Wednesday evening and they'll load it Thursday after practice. Right now it's a late Thursday afternoon uh, and the kids are going through, all the student managers are going through the uh, players' bags you see behind us. Uh, just double check and make sure the helmet's in there, shoulder pads, thigh pads, knee pads, you know, a pair of shoes. Uh, we have a trunk with our game shoes. We also like to have a pack of a, uh, another pair of cleats. Uh, we have a checklist for them. The kids go through it, make sure all the stuff is in the bag. And so once they roll off the semi, they can go right to the locker room, and kind of go to the area where the O-line is or the area where the D-line is, linebacker, etc. It just makes it quicker putting bags out. Right now we're doing this. Once we get all these lined up, we'll wheel them out to the truck, to the semi, and then load them on the semi. We will take off usually on Friday mornings early. If it's a longer trip like Penn State or Arizona State, we of course leave you know a day earlier on Thursday or even Wednesday. <laughs> attempt to give Illinois the lead, the kick on the way, and the kick is good! Welcome back, Nick Amicus. Steps up, third and seven, rush on, down he goes. Tries to pitch it instead, pitches it on the ground, it's loose, picked up on the turf, free ball, and Illinois going the other way, and a touchdown, Illinois! Typically after the game, we load right up, um, just take off, drive straight back to Champaign. Sometimes depends on if it's a closer trip, we'll unload the trailer that night, or we will come back Sunday and, and finish it. And for the first time since 1956, the Illini have defeated number one. Best trip was probably 2007 in uh, Ohio State. When we beat the number one Buckeyes, it was, uh, it was always a good time over there and uh, exciting. We've had some really good trips out to California, Texas. I've uh, been to San Francisco. Rose Bowl, you know, it's it's something to something to be proud of and something to have a lot of fun with, and um, it's just a lot of fun doing it.